Yo, it's your boy D Star coming to you live from the pad, about to give it to you raw. And the Lakers have just made some new cuts. Um, so they let go of Ye. Ye actually asked for a release. Uh, now Luke Walton had recently said when he was interviewed, I believe by Mark Medina, that Ye wanted more minutes, he wanted more time. He saw he himself wanted... having a bigger role by signing with the Lakers, but unfortunately that did not come to fruition. Uh, Anthony Brown had got released as well. Anthony Brown had got released. Uh, now, Luke Walton has said that was a tough one, basically, because he has Nick Young. Uh, you got so many guys. So let me let me read verbatim what he says. He says, that was tough. Um, but with the team we have, with so many guys, young guys, we have so many twos and threes, guards, as it is right now with Nick Young playing as well as he's playing and signing Laurel Dang and drafting Brandon Ingram, it was tough to find him, Brown, opportunities out there. And as much as I like him and as well as he was playing, MWP, Metal World Peace, and T. Robinson were really bringing it every single day. They were giving us a toughness that I think we need, giving us some vocal leadership, some experience. And I just felt like in talking with the guys upstairs, that was what was most valuable for those last couple spots. So that's what you have uh, Luke Walton saying. And it was kind of crowded. Now look, now um, you, a lot of us have our own opinions of Nick Young or whatever, but I, I think he had a pretty, pretty strong, uh, I guess, preseason, if you want to call it that. He had a pretty strong preseason. He was he was played. He's more defensive than he's ever been. Uh, I'm not saying he's a he can go out here and guard some of the greatest guards, but he, his defense has improved. Uh, he might not be that bad of a fit as we may surmise. Uh, so look, we already have these two guys gone from the team. But the great thing is we have Thomas Robinson. A guy who I kind of was rooting for since they got rid of uh, Zach August. And I was, this was guy, I was like, eh, why do they kind of need him? He's kind of in, in between that Targ Black, uh, Julius Randle type. But he's pure energy. You know, he's kind of like a tweener. He's in between a power forward and center. But... Uh, when he every time he came in the game, he brought this type of energy. Uh, I won't, I wouldn't say bird man, I wouldn't say he's he's a bird man, but he has that type of I'm going to go contest every shot, I'm going to try to go for the rebound. Uh, offensively, he'll get the little messy tip ins or whatever. You know, he's a scrapper and he was willing to put it all on the line and make the squad. And that's one thing that you could say about him during the preseason that you couldn't say about Ye or uh, even the, uh, the other guys. You could say that he kind of outplayed, uh, I won't say our young core, but a lot of these guys that were kind of trying to figure out what was going to be their place on their team. And I believe even Thomas Robinson had even said that that's why he likes the Lakers because the Lakers represent uh, something where everybody's trying to figure out their place in the league he's been to six different teams already i believe this is his sixth team or his seventh team i'm not sure but he's been traded around and, and kind of tossed around and this could be his his uh his chance to actually develop and get a full season the lakers decide to keep him the full season uh where he can develop so uh this it's, it sounds like a little match made in heaven and uh hopefully the guy just puts it down now, Metal World Peace, Metal World Peace is another guy. I think it was purely political. They could have hired him as an assistant coach, but they did not. They said, we're going to sign him for the season because I believe Luke Warren had said something to the effect of he believes that um, players tend to take a more closer bond with the players opposed to the coaches. So that's why they kept Metal World Peace, so he can be a guy that's in practice with them. Kind of what uh, Brian Shaw was on the Lakers when 
when it was Kobe and Shaq, or whatever. It's just kind of like an older mentor type of assistant coach on the floor. So that's that's why they kind of recite him. And uh, what he said was he has a lot of experience to speak from. Walton said of World Peace. He's been on both sides of it and can be very helpful to some of these young guys that are trying to figure it out. So there you have it. That's that's what's coming. I mean, that's basically the Lakers uh, squad, the roster that we have. Uh, you see it right now. And that's the 15 that the Lakers are going to roll with. We have our first preseason game against the Rockets, I believe. And we're going to be on a Kraken. We're back to... Uh, Laker basketball. It's been a long time. Unfortunately, the Dodgers lost. But hey, uh, there's brighter days in Lakerland. Peace.